to see how long it's planning on staying. Yeah, it was a warm one today, but that was a general theme across much of the country. We're definitely feeling those summer heat, that summer effect for much of the U.S. A lot of cities sitting in those 80s, even 90s like us in La Crosse today. A couple cooler cities on the coast, though. Otherwise, we're going to see a little bit of a drop in those temperatures, sitting around average for Sunday and Monday. That's largely going to be due to this sheer amount of cloud cover that we're going to have, as well as some rain chances that we have coming. And we have quite a few rain chances coming up for Mainly um, going into tomorrow morning and afternoon, it's going to be mainly cloud cover. We'll have a couple spotty isolated showers start to pop up in those afternoon to evening hours, mainly south of I-90 and the western portions of our area. But then as we get into those overnight Sunday evening hours, we will see this line of some stronger storms, heavier rain chances start to pop over into our area. Now they'll see a, a couple of our counties will see some showers, scattered thunderstorms going into those late evening hours Sunday, but much of that rain chance is going to be coming in those overnight to early Monday morning hours. So we can start to see this line start to make its way over into our area by around 4 a.m. Monday morning. This will actually break up though, so it looks kind of scarier off to the west. It breaks up once it um, makes its way to our area. Definitely once it gets into Wisconsin, it's going to be lighter showers, but it will have decent accumulation amounts with it. As we get into Monday, maybe going out the door for work, you might want to bring your umbrella with you because could be some scattered showers out there and much of the day Monday we'll just have a lot of stuff following behind that line that could pop up and bringing some lighter showers into the area but those thunderstorms the thunderstorm risk will mainly be with that initial line and then we'll have some more rain chances we'll have a little bit of a break Tuesday that's when that hot and humid weather is going to find its way back to our area by Wednesday this is going to be a similar situation to what we'll see Sunday and Monday shower chances Wednesday evening going into Thursday morning so that's going to be our next main chance of rain and then Friday we're only sitting at a 20% of maybe seeing some scattered to isolated showers. Here's our rain forecast for the next week. This is going to include that Sunday and Monday storm chances along with the stuff that we could see on Wednesday and Thursday. Definitely larger rain accumulations. Some of us could need that though because we haven't had a whole lot of rain in the last two weeks. So much of the area is going to be seeing around an inch, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less of rainfall. Again, as that line could definitely change up as it starts to move into our area getting into tomorrow night. Now our lows tonight are going to be a little bit high. Not anything we can't handle, just edging near 70 degrees for much of the area. And then our highs tomorrow Again, much cooler than we saw today with those heat indices sticking very close to the real temperature. So much of us will be staying in those mid 80s. After that, we have those rain chances again Sunday evening going into Monday and then that heat and humidity ramps right back up again for much of the week after Tuesday. We'll hopefully see a little bit of relief though as we get into the weekend. So hold on for the week and then we'll get back to normal. Perfect. Yeah, last week temperatures were great and then today just that high humidity it just feels so Gross. I think it's karma. We got really lucky with the weather last week. Yeah, it was we very did. comfortable, and now it's coming right back. We got to know what summer feels like. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nicole, 